America's power grid system is not only large but dynamic, which makes it especially challenging to manage. Human operators know how to maintain systems when conditions are static. But when conditions change quickly, due to sudden faults for example, operators lack a clear way of anticipating how the system should best adapt to meet system security and safety requirements. At the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory a research team has developed a novel approach to help system operators understand how to better control power systems with the help of artificial intelligence. Their new approach could help operators control power systems in a more effective way, which could enhance the resilience of America's power grid, according to a recent article in IEEE Transactions on Power Systems. The new approach allows operators to make decisions considering both static and dynamic features of a power system in a single decision-making model with better accuracy, a historically tough challenge. In power systems, operators must hold frequency within a certain range of values to meet safety limits. Static conditions, such as the number of generators online, affect system ability of holding frequency and other dynamic features. Most analysts calculate static and dynamic features separately, but the results fall short. Meanwhile, others have tried to develop simple models that can bridge both types of calculations, but these models are limited in their scalability and accuracy, particularly as systems become more complex. Rather than trying to fit existing static and dynamic formulas together, researchers developed an approach for creating new formulas that could bridge the two. Their approach centers on using an artificial intelligence tool known as a neural network. While their neural network approach can apply to bulk power systems, the team tested it on a microgrid system, a controllable network of distributed energy resources, such as diesel generators and solar photovoltaic panels. The team used the neural network to track how a set of static conditions within the microgrid system mapped to a set of dynamic conditions or values. More specifically, researchers used it to optimize the static resources within their microgrid so the electrical frequency stayed within a safe range. Simulation data served as the inputs and outputs for training their neural network. The inputs were static data and outputs were dynamic responses, specifically the range of frequencies that are safe. When the researchers passed both sets of data into the neural network, it learned to map estimated dynamic responses for a set of static conditions.